Alright, today we're going to work on drawing from a photo reference. Uh, particularly how to draw an animal using a photo reference. And the photo we're using is a picture I took of an otter at the Hogel Zoo last time we were there. So to start, what you want to do is start with the head shape, which will be in a circle. And do a circle for the snout. an oval for the nose and then we're going to put the action line in which is a line following the contour of the back. So what I'm doing here is trying to get that um, action line right. Start adding the leg in. The eyes and notice I'm drawing light sketching it in, just in case I have to erase or move anything around, which I will have to do in this drawing. Um, you'll see that I end up having to extend the back. If you look at that photo, uh, my initial line is a little too uh, sharp. It curves down a little too quick, which I'll fix when in the shading process. So right now what I'm doing is just going through indicating where the dark areas are, where the light areas are, the major light changes within the fur. Okay, and as I'm working, I'm looking at that photo and mimicking the direction of fur and light on the animal. getting the main um, changes right now. Not really worried of the minute things right now, just the main value changes that I see um, with the dark and light. And then let's notice how the fur curves down around the back. Okay, and it's a little longer than the fur that's in the face. So I'm gonna use shorter pencil strokes in the face area, then longer um, pencil strokes in the back. Um, the fur is wet, so I need to make sure I clump it as I draw it in, which is ends up being a bunch of long triangles, basically. Um, you can kind of see how I'm doing that in the neck right there. And again, the fur on the face is shorter pencil strokes. As they go down around the back, I'm using longer pencil strokes in the back. So now I'm going to work on um, adding some value in the background because you have that silver lining effect where the light's hitting the fur. So it's important that that back value is dark enough that we can get that lighting effect. Um, this is an old blending stump I had sitting next to me. It's been used quite a bit, as you can see there. Um, if you don't have a blending stump, you can use a tissue. You can use your finger, which I use all the time. You'll see me use my finger in this video. Um, I'm still using a mechanical pencil at this point. Um, when I ended up finishing this um, drawing, I switched over to my ebony pencil, which I'll show you a picture of at the end of the video here. The mechanical pencil is great. I love sketching with me mechanical pencil, but when you try to get a big areas of dark, uh, the ebony pencil is a lot easier. So you can see me see right here, I'm using my finger to soften the graphite. And I'm coming back into the fur, just trying to get those changes of light to dark and then still work on the form of the auto, otter here. Okay, as I'm going here, you'll see me bouncing around quite a bit from the background back to the fur. And the purpose of that is just to try to balance the value changes that you see in the photo. Once again, like that silver lining effect because of the, the lighting hitting that fur on the left side. In order to get that, we're gonna have to have that darker value change in the background. So that's what I'm doing. Um, just bouncing, looking at my photo, making sure I'm still um, following the direction of fur. 
on the lighting and where I need to darken the values and even brighten up some areas, which you'll see me use the eraser here um, to pull out some of the fur areas, like the whiskers, for example. Going around darkening my values, making sure that I am looking at the photo once again, just trying to balance the light and dark there, and that's why that side of the face needs to be darker, and that's what I'm working on right there, and not fur. So now what I'm gonna do, once I get the values in there, I'm gonna go through and just kind of clean up the details. You'll see me start working more on the eyes, working more on tightening up the definition of the fur, uh, the leg, which is mostly hidden by that tail down there. Um, and then just going through, just fixing what I need to fix. If you don't know what to fix, your answer is in the photo reference. Uh, here's the picture the ebony pencil ended up using to finish up my drawing And as you can see I kind of changed up the background made it into more of a mountain scene Fun use your imagination with how you want to finish it up Thanks for watching guys